What's up you guys? Um, so I want to show you all the how I made these um, curtains super cheap. They were five dollar grocery outlet shower curtains but they're not like the vinyl plastic -y kind. They're like nice fabric like nylon but definitely breathable and really thin and light and soft and I really like that because during the daytime I could see I could see out of the windows and what's going on um, around the van and stuff and nobody could see in and especially these black ones it just looked like the windows tinted and it's totally stealthy um, it just looks like the windows tinted and really dark and you can't see in so you can't really tell um, even that there's curtains with these black ones um, at night the thinness showed some light through if I was inside with the light on, but most of the time I park places I don't have to worry about that. So for me it was much nicer to be able to see out during the day when I'm taking a nap and see people walking around or, or even at night when uh, you know rangers pull up or whoever and check me out if I'm camping in kind of a sketchy area. So at least I could see them approaching and I'd wake up and be sitting there and say hello and never really had too much of a problem. Um, actually very little problems being in a minivan you know nobody really even thinks you're living in there um, anyways so these are two shower curtains that I got for five dollars each they didn't have two black ones or else I would have gotten that this was the next darkest color they had and I took them to a seamstress and she cut these ones long ways it's hard to tell but these these stretch out a lot longer so they're 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 shorter and longer like hot dog style and then these ones I had her cut um, taller but narrower and so you could call that hamburger style and so the hamburger style ones obviously went on the back and the front and then the hot dog ones went the black ones went on the sides and so she cut those and then sewed in a uh, a pocket for me to thread this bungee cord through this is just I believe it's like 1 8 inch from I got it at Home Depot and in the bulk section I just pulled out like I don't remember how many feet but it stretches like crazy and so I would just use these hooks in the corners of the plastic in the top corners and ends as best I could and then the places I couldn't get clips like in between I would use these to just wedge right up in the plastic like say this corner and then that's there and you can pull put the curtain in and pull it out of there and same with like these hooks you could put the bungee line up there and so you could take this off and then pull the curtain back if you wanted I ended up just leaving all the curtains on it wasn't even a problem having them on the back or this side um, if I was doing like some city freeway, city driving or free city freeway driving, I would pull back this one and that's it. I would leave this one. And uh, yeah, with these, about these hooks, um, so originally I had golden, just the regular cheaper golden ones. Um, the ones at Home Depot were crap, Chinese crap. They were worthless if you look at the threads. So I ended up buying the golden ones from Ace Hardware or True Value. And... Yeah, it was, I was able to screw them in on the older van, but this van was a little more tough and I needed a drill. You'd need a tiny little drill to, to make the holes first and being careful not to go deeper than the plastic so you don't hit any electrical wiring. Um, and that's basically it, but that's why I never installed them on this van because I didn't have a drill and then I just always parked nice enough places where mostly it really didn't matter. Um, so, yeah. There it is. So all together, $5, $10, and the seamstress charged me $20. So that's $30 curtains. And then th these hooks may be $10. So for $40, you can have curtains all the way around your van.